So this is number three for the arithmetic practice test. And what they're asking you is they're asking you to add two fractions. And I want to do a little bit of review of how a fraction works. So we have 4 over 10. Now, one of the things that I want to review is when you have a fraction, each of these numbers has a special name depending where it's located. The top one is called the numerator. So the numerator is on the top, and on the bottom is the denominator. So numerator on the top, denominator on the bottom. Now, the next thing we have to remember is that when we're adding fractions, the denominator has to be the same number. So I look at the 10 and I look at the 100, and what I want to do is I want to turn this 10 into 100. So how do I do that? So what I want to do is I want to multiply this number to turn that number into 100. So let's figure out how to do that. So let's do a separate little problem over here. So we have 4 over 10. And now I want to multiply this by something over something to turn that into 100. So our goal is to make this number into 100. So I know that 10 times 10 equals 100. Now here's the trick. If you multiply the bottom by 10, you also have to multiply the top by 10. So if we multiply 10 times 10, that gives us 100. And then if we multiply 4 by 10, that gives us 40. So that's the first thing that we have to remember. Now you might want to ask, how does this work? If you put the same number on the top and the bottom, it equals 1. So 10 over 10 equals 1. So watch this. If that equals 1, and if you don't believe me, well, I don't know what to tell you. You just have to trust me on that. But if the bottom number and the top number of a fraction are the same, then it equals 1. And if you multiply any number by 1, it doesn't change the value. It might look different in this case, but it doesn't change the value. So 4 over 10 times 1 equals 4 over 10. But now, I said to you earlier that this is also equal to 1, so this equals this. So it's just one of those things. They call that the identity property. If you multiply a number by 1, it stays the same. So this is the same as this. This is the same as this. Okay, so now that we've established that 4 over 10 is the same as 40 over 100, now we can bring this one down. So what I want to do is I want to take this one, and I'm going to take that 40 over 100, and I'm going to add it to 3 over 100. And 40 plus 3 equals 43 over 100. So I look here, and then I look up here, and I say, oh, not that one, that's 110, but that one works. So here is your final answer.